Hey guys, it's Flat Six Media here again with Henry and Nelson. On today's episode, we're joined by the Kings of Precision Mobile Detailing Service that is going to come and ceramic coat my brand new 2020 Infinity Q50 Red Sport. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll be notified when there's new and exciting content. And with that, let's go. That's good enough. I look better in 720 though. Go for it. Hey guys, it's Nelson with Flat Six Media, and I'm here with Mike from Kings of Precision Mobile Detailing. So on this week's episode, we're here in Flat Six Media Studios, AKA Henry's Garage, and Henry's got a brand new toy. It's got a 2020 Infinity Q50 Red Sport, and it's looking fantastic, but we're here with Kings of Precision to make it look even more fantastic. The Today. Kings of Precision Mobile Detailing Company have been providing services to Trice the area for the last five years. They'll do ceramic coats, paint correction, interior and exterior detailing, car decontamination for the COVID era. We're excited to partner up with them and see what they can do for me. Today we're getting a ceramic coat and Mike is gonna walk us through the entire process. How do we start this process, Mike? We got a wash, clay bar, paint correct to make sure none of that gets sealed under the ceramic coating. There's all sorts of reason to get ceramic coatings on your cars, but what's the benefits of having the preparation work done right, AKA paint correction, etc. Ceramic coating is gonna go over your clear coat and preserve anything that's under that ceramic coating. So you want your paint to be as great as possible. No swirls, no imperfections. Why would you need any kind of paint correction before you get a ceramic coat on your vehicle? I mean, well, we got lucky here today. Henry's Q50 looks like it came off the showroom floor. The paint is perfect, but there are vehicles, although brand new, come with swirls, uh, contaminants in the paint. So what you're saying, when it comes from the dealer, you still could possibly have all these things in your paint. Oh, absolutely. I mean, dealers are not known for being good detailers or providing a good wash. Uh, a lot of cars come with dealer installed swirl marks that we got to remove especially if they've been sitting on the lot for a month or two before the sale is actually made. But luckily we don't have that issue here today. So in step one, the first thing you wanna do is rinse the car thoroughly with a pressure washer. This will remove any loose debris and dirt that might be resting on top of the clear coat. In step two, they started the pre-wash. With the pre-wash, they used a snow foam and snow cannon uh, to do an initial touchless wash. And then from there, they moved on to adding additional soap and used regular wash mitts to wash the car. In step three, you wanna make sure to wash the car from the top down. You want to make sure that the contaminants from the top of the vehicle are making their way down to what are the dirtier sections of the car and the ground so that nothing is being brought up as you're going through this cleaning process. In step four, you wanna use a clay bar on the clear coat of the vehicle. What this will do is help you remove any additional contaminants that might be stuck within the pores of the clear coat. Make sure to use a clay bar lubricant or water as you pass it along the top of the vehicle nice and light. Be sure to rinse the car off after you've completed clay barring. That way you just remove any additional soap suds that may have been left over from the original washing cycle. In step five, you wanna dry the car thoroughly using a microfiber towel, working your way from the top down just the same way that we washed it before. We brought the car into my garage to finish the drying process. As I was doing it, I realized that it was a very tight space to get it in and it required me to shimmy the car a lot more than I needed to. Clearly, I had some performance anxiety and the whole time I was thinking to myself, look away, I'm, I'm hideous. <laughs> we finished drying the car by using the blow function of my shop vac to remove any excess water that was within the nooks and crannies of the car. All right, so we've washed the car, we've dried the car, we've let it sit for about 20 minutes to make sure that all moisture is completely gone. Now, what's the next step? Uh, next step, after the vehicle's dried, we've cleared all the water from door jams, handles, window trim. Next step is to hit it with a rubbing alcohol-based solution to remove the last final step, remove all fingerprints, all grease, wax that could be on the vehicle to make sure that the ceramic coating adheres 100%. So do you think the car is dry and ready to go? I think it's ready to go. Fantastic, let's go. So we closed the garage door and the guys got to work it contained within my garage of applying the actual clear coat. Now this task is obviously incredibly tedious and time consuming. You need to, they need to really pay attention to what they're doing. So in the interest of time, we will speed this up. You will see them power through it. Uh, but I assure you that the car was properly coated uh, throughout this process. Now 
you're seeing the other half of Flat Six Media, Henry. And then we have Andre, who is the other half of Kings of Precision Mobile Detailing. And they just finished ceramic coating my car. So they wrapped up this job, and honestly, from what I'm seeing right now, they've done a stellar job around this car. One of the things that I realized is that the amount of time that it took to do this wasn't crazy extensive, at least not on my car. Why, why is that? Right, well, what you have to take into account is that not all cars are the same. Obviously, you're dealing with sedans, SUVs, hatchbacks, whatever the case may be. So size definitely plays into it, but then also the quality of the paint. Okay. So there's certain levels of paint correction that needs to be done when you're going to do a ceramic coating. Luckily, your car had barely any imperfections, so we were able to speed along the process. So Mike, is this process expensive? It can get expensive. Uh, ceramic coating itself is a little pricey, but it can get more expensive if you need now a wet sand or a paint correction. Those are more labor intensive and nine out of 10 times it's gonna cost you more than the actual ceramic coat. I would imagine there are other benefits like savings and going to car washes. Oh, absolutely. Once you ceramic coat your vehicle, you're essentially married to not going to an automatic car wash. And would you recommend that people do this or stick to the professionals? Uh, I would say stick to the professionals. Ceramic coating done incorrectly is good, not gonna look good. Like anything else in life, especially with your car, technique matters. So even though uh, this crew came and did a professional job on this car, I try to do something similar on my SUV and the results were not nearly the same and the process was not nearly what I was supposed to do. So let's cover technique, right? So with, tech, with the technique on the car, I saw you guys did a few patterns as you were applying this, this ceramic coat. What is the importance of that? making sure you do not leave one spot without ceramic coating. Okay. So in, in essence, what you're doing is north to south, uh, west to east or east to west, and you're covering your tracks. All right. You're making sure that every inch, every centimeter, every spot on the actual car or the paint is covered with ceramic coating. There's also dry time and everything involved with it. Right. Exactly, okay. now, you know, what you have now is you actually have more area to cover, you know, which is gonna be exposed, or I should say on a running clock. You want a, a space that is definitely what you can handle and that you can remember where you actually left it. So with a car like this, I've had this car now officially for a week since it's been here. I haven't driven her and God knows I want to. So now that the ceramic coat is done, can I go and drive it right now? If you wanted to, you could. We do not suggest that. Oh, then I won't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't do it. Actually, you know, we actually suggest that the car sits in a place like this, a garage or somewhere where the elements will not get to it. I would say 20 to 24 hours. Okay. Yeah, and even though they've been doing, they've been working here a good three and a half to four hours, it hasn't just been about the process they explained. Mikey is still right here at the front of the car, wiping things down, still checking for those imperfections. And those details matter. Is it smart to do it right before the winter season, let's say? Uh, yes, I would recommend it right before the winter, obviously because of the elements, you know, you have snow, rain. Salt. Salt, exactly. Right. So, you know, you want to be able to protect your clear coat. Ceramic coating is designed for that, so it, Definitely recommend it to have your own for the win. Cool. So there's some things you can do on your own, but I say leave it to the professionals in the Northeast. You can limit to Kings of Precision Mobile Detailing. They did a great job here, uh, and they work seven days a week. You call them, they'll come and they'll do that job. So follow Kings of Precision's YouTube page. I'm going to ceramic coat the shit out this car. See you in a bit.